straight out to investigative reporter John Lieberman. What have you learned tonight, John? I got to tell you, Dan, when I was in America's Most Wanted, I worked on the case of these two guys. They were colorful characters <laughs> back then. And here's what law enforcement is really afraid of. They're afraid that these guys are set up well for life on the run. And I'll tell you why. When Banks was convicted just last week, it turns out that most of the loot that he stole, more than a half a million dollars, was never recovered. So law enforcement is afraid that that money is somewhere that Banks can get his hands on it. Here's the other thing. Banks was always known as a big-time aspiring clothing designer who could sew anything together. They actually believe that Banks has spent much of the last several months figuring out a way to sew together these bed sheets and rappel down the building. This is only the second escape that this very high security prison has ever well, had. Last I checked, they didn't have sewing machines in these jail cells. You talk about him sewing. I mean, this is like, this is unbelievable. First of all, let me say the families of the two men just want to turn themselves in. Listen to this. Turn yourself in, they say. I just hope that they don't have to hurt him. I just want that he just turn himself in. Okay, Drew Finling, this is unbelievable. Take a look at the logistics. Cops say the two men made a rope by tying together or sewing together, as it were, at least 200 feet of bed sheets, towels, and blankets. And then they squeezed out of a window that's only five inches wide and seven feet tall. And then they rappelled down 15 stories. Uh, again, something out of a movie. I want to show you this. Drew Finling and our viewers at home, check this out, all right? This is five inches. In other words, it's a, it's a long window, but it's only five inches wide. And those two guys, they must have been dieting along with sewing, because how do you get out of something, a window that's five inches wide? That's just, uh, Jane, it's it's absolutely insane. And there's no doubt there was a tremendous amount of, amount of planning that went into this. Um, but I will say this, regardless of the amount of money they may have hidden away and the plans that they have, it's a different generation for escaped convicts. I've seen so many of these cases, and ultimately you're caught because we live in a generation right now with video feeds and surveillance feeds absolutely everywhere. And this is a federal break, which means the federal authorities, specifically the FBI, is involved. The manpower that's going to be used is...